Hi there! In uh, this video I aim to explain how to get uh, DLSS 4 working both in uh, MSFS 2020 and 2024. Before we go to the step-by-step -step, uh, instructions, I just want to mention that uh, there could be significant uh, improvements in both uh, performance and uh, image quality by using the various uh, DLSS 4 technologies. So in terms of the different uh, DLSS uh, components, multi-frame generation is only available for the RTX 50 series and the sort of standard uh, frame generation, which we've had for a few years now, is only available with the RTX 40 series. But the rest of the components is uh, available uh, with all uh, RTX uh, cards. The thing is though, DLSS ray reconstruction is not used in MSFS. But DLSS uh, super resolution is used. That is to downscale the uh, render image to a lower resolution to enhance the performance. And after the downscaling, there is some sort of uh, AI-based uh, upscaling so that uh, if you downscale to, for instance, uh, 2K, it's possible to upscale back to 4K so that it appears on your monitor that the image is in 4K, but it's really being rendered in 2K, which saves performance. And then the last component is uh, deep learning anti-aliasing, which uh, in my opinion is a very, very good uh, and maybe even the best uh, anti-aliasing technique. I think it's probably better than uh, TAA. Especially since uh, there's been a significant upgrade to all DLSS uh, technology, that's the way I understand it, which is uh, something called the Transformer AI model. So there's many good reasons to upgrade. I think that uh, we all expected that uh, DLSS 4 would be automatically enabled in uh, both uh, MSFS 2020 and 2024 when the new uh, NVIDIA driver released yesterday. As we can see here from uh, this uh, list of games over at uh, NVIDIA.com, both 2024 and 2020 is part of a list of 75 games or more that is supposed to have day zero support. But the thing is, as uh, things turned out yesterday, it was uh, quite a bit of a mess over at the AvSim forum, which I uh, follow regularly. As a lot of people discovered that uh, even after the NVIDIA driver update, DLSS uh, 4 was not automatically active in neither MSFS 2020 nor 2024. But at least for 2020, it was possible to just use the uh, updated uh, NVIDIA app to just uh, override DLSS and enable it. Unfortunately, that has not been the case for uh, MSFS 2024. In that case, it is uh, still necessary to use uh, NVIDIA Profile Inspector to force enable uh, DLSS uh, 4. But uh, luckily, there have been some uh, people that have uh, written guides, step-by-step -step guides on how to do this. And we are going to go through this guide in the video. First of all, credits go to Ian over at the Avsim and 10 Petrol over at the official forums for these uh, suggestions. So we're going to start by uh, downloading and installing the latest uh, NVIDIA driver. And uh, it's possible to do this, uh, of course, on the NVIDIA official web page. And also it's possible to use it from uh, Tech Power Up. That's uh, where I usually do it. So I have a folder here with uh, all the necessary files that we're going to need, except for the uh, DLL files, which is no longer needed. 
I don't know if some some of you either used DLSS swapper or replaced the uh, DLSS DLL files manually. That is no longer required. So you can just uh, disregard this folder. So since I haven't uh, updated to the latest NVIDIA driver, I'm going to do that now. All right, so uh, it's possible to install both the driver and the app. I guess I am uh, going to go for that uh, selection. To be honest, I haven't used the uh, NVIDIA app and uh, I haven't used the uh, G4Rs uh, experience either for a long time now. I'm going to select custom. And uh, that is uh, looking okay. I don't actually have to update the audio driver. And uh, I don't have to update the uh, PhysX. I am going to perform a clean installation, which restores all NVIDIA settings to default values. If you have uh, NVIDIA Profile Inspector, it's uh, possible to make a backup copy of all the uh, NVIDIA settings. It's not possible to do that, however, using the NVIDIA control panel. All right, so the uh, driver installation has uh, finished. After the driver has finished installing, it is possible that the uh, display resolution has changed, especially if you selected a clean install. So then the next step is uh, simply to restart your computer. Alright, so the computer has restarted and we can see a uh, shortcut here to the NVIDIA app. So the next step is to open the NVIDIA app and then we are going to do the DLSS uh, override for MSFS 2020. So I guess we are going to select the game ready driver. And I recommend that you leave this one disabled optimized games if you i'm really happy that it's uh, disabled by default because if this one is uh, enabled nvidia is going to change the settings for all your games to optimize uh, optimize the games so we're going to hit the next i don't think i want the overlay i don't use any freestyle filters at the moment and then if you want to, you can also log in. So we're going to go over to the graphics uh, section here. And then we're going to go to uh, MSFS 2020. And uh, interestingly, it says unable to retrieve settings. Try again later. And it says the same for 2024. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly log in and see if that changes anything. So I just uh, exited the NVIDIA app and we can see down here in the system tray. We still have NVIDIA control panel. Which I am uh, very happy about. I was a little bit afraid that that would uh, disappear. It's just uh, because of familiarity. We've used uh, NVIDIA control panel for years, and even though I think it's possible to change the same settings in the NVIDIA app, I think it's a really good thing that uh, they decided to keep NVIDIA control panel. So I think I'm going to start this one as uh, administrator by right-clicking and run as uh, admin. And then we're going to go over to graphics here, and uh, 2020. And uh, it's very strange, but it still says uh, enable to retrieve uh, settings, try again later. So DLSS uh, override, which is the uh, setting that we are interested in, is unsupported. Which is uh, a little bit surprising, uh, I guess. Although there's been all sorts of... Uh, opinions um, over at Absim at least uh, of the last well, since the driver was uh, released really 
Some people say that uh, they can uh, do the DLSS uh, override for MSFS 2020. Some people can't, so it's a bit of a mess, really. But uh, let's go to the folder where I have uh, downloaded uh, everything that I need. Don't really need the installer for the app, because it was installed along with the driver. So the next thing is to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And uh, I will uh, leave this link in the description. And then you get a zip file on your PC. We're going to uh, extract it. I'm using 7-zip. Uh, so I've unzipped it. I'll open the folder. Then I'm going to start inspector. Since I did have a backup copy of my uh, settings using uh, inspector, I'm just going to restore or import that. And uh, here it is. Then I'm going to hit uh, apply changes. It's uh, only necessary to uh, change the settings under the uh, base profile. One important thing is that uh, if you have a file called uh, custom setting names XML in your NVIDIA profile inspector folder, just make sure that you delete it. It is no longer relevant. You probably used it before to um, set a specific DLSS uh, profile in Inspector, but now that is uh, no longer needed. So here's a uh, screenshot with uh, all the settings uh, that we need to change. So enable DLSS frame gen override. Going to set that one to this number here. We don't technically need to uh, enable uh, DLSS RR because that is uh, DLSS ray reconstruction, which is not supported in MSFS, but since this is the global profile in Inspector, you might have uh, other games that uh, use it. So I'm going to enable it like this. Then the last one is uh, DLSS uh, SR, which uh, I believe is the regular DLSS uh, super resolution. Of course, uh, if you don't have an uh, RTX 40 or 50 card, you, strictly speaking, you don't, don't need to enable uh, this option here or change it. So we're going to go to uh, the uh, super resolution uh, setting, change this one as well. And then we're going to scroll down to uh, DLSS uh, RR preset. And that is the ray reconstruction again. I'm going to set it like this. And then we're going to change the override DLSS uh, super resolution preset. Like this. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Then we're going to apply the changes. Then we're going to close Inspector. The last step is uh, not really necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway because uh, that is to enable a DLSS uh, indicator so that we can see that uh, DLSS uh, 4 is working in uh, the sim. I do have uh, both 2020 and 2024 installed, but I'm not going to start both. I'm just going to start uh, 2024. But uh, before I do that, this is the link to uh, download the files 
that are required to enable the DLSS uh, indicator. And uh, I already have the files here. What these uh, two files uh, do is just to change some uh, registry entries to turn the indicator on and then off so that you don't have to do it yourself. So let's try to turn it on. Yep, we want to continue. And then OK. All right, so it seems that uh, it was uh, not necessary to reboot the computer after turning on the DLSS uh, indicator. It is down here, but uh, it's a little bit hard to see it. So I'm just going to start a uh, flight in uh, any aircraft, I suppose. I did empty my uh, community folder so that uh, the sim would start uh, quickly. As you can see, the text in the indicator down in the bottom left corner is very, very small. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just take a screenshot and then we're going to zoom in to be able to read it. So let's go full screen and then we'll check uh, over here and uh, we can see that uh, the version of uh, DLSS uh, is uh, 3.10.2.0 and this is probably the latest uh, NVIDIA driver. We can see the current driver version is uh, 5.72.16. So we'll go down to the bottom uh, left corner. And we can see that the uh, render preset is K. That is the correct one. That is uh, the one that is uh, recommended to use uh, from now on. If you previously, uh, during the last week or so, use the uh, pre-release uh, DLSS uh, 4 files, either using DLSS uh, Swapper or by replacing them uh, manually, then you probably would have used uh, preset J. At least uh, I did, and I think many did. Uh, it's a little bit confusing because uh, it says uh, DLSS uh, version 3. Yeah, it is super confusing, actually. Because this number here indicates that it is, uh, in fact, uh, DLSS uh, 4. And it says uh, NVIDIA App Override. And we're at 4K resolution. So that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, I wish it uh, wasn't so uh, difficult to do this. I wish uh, it would work just uh, automatically without this uh, fiddling around. But it is what it is. Before I uh, wrap things up, I just want to mention to uh, turn the uh, DLSS uh, indicator off, you just run the uh, DLSS indicator off uh, file here. Probably a good idea to shut down the sim before doing that. And one last thing. If you want to take a deep dive in uh, sort of the uh, tech behind uh, DLSS uh, 4, I uh, really recommend the uh, tech YouTube channel Digital Foundry. They go into a lot of depth. And especially this uh, video here. And also the uh, DLSS uh, 4 deep dive. So yeah, that is uh, it for now. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.